Jim. Crime is also a big concern in the Navy Yard, and there was a big public walk with police tonight. Walter Morris has our story. I would love to be able to live in a neighborhood where we can just walk freely. Tori Collins is like many D.C. residents. I don't want to see violent crimes. I don't want to see any crimes, but I'm realistic about, you know, what a city center brings. She moved to Navy Yard in 2014, and since then, she's watched the area transform. She says even though she feels safe most of the time, over the last few years, she's noticed an increase in crime. I don't want to see shootings. I mean, I was having brunch and there was a shooting that happened and I had to run and duck for cover. And that's why she joined dozens of neighbors, community leaders and MPD officers for this walk Tuesday evening. So just to get people to talk to the police and vice versa. For months, ANC commissioners have gotten an earful from residents concerned about crime. Feel unsafe. They feel that uh, folks are also not being held, held accountable for the crimes that are being committed, from petty crime to the carjackings, the break-ins, even break-ins within the residential buildings. And it's no secret this area has seen its share. Back in May, a teenager murdered on a metro train at the Navy Yard stop. In April, neighbors calling News 4 after a double shooting near 3rd and L Street Southeast left bullet holes in homes. In March, this video going viral, a car thief crashing into several cop cars and speeding off after police say he stole from a nearby store. Months before that, in January, a murder at the entrance of the Navy Yard Metro Station. And last summer, residents speaking out after hundreds gathered for unauthorized block parties. The, the mayor did, uh, did announce a new curfew. Uh, that, that's kind of in effect. It's, it's not a new curfew. Tuesday, MPD stressing it's going to take a team effort to address some of the issues in the area. And during the mile-long stroll, community leaders and officers pointing out places where they can have the biggest impact. And once we get the entire community engaged, it's going to have a huge improvement on what we see with crime and just daily quality of life. In Southeast, Walter Morris, News 4.